We are talking about structural health monitoring here at InterGU 2019 in Stuttgart with uh, Diane Michelin and uh, Peter Berger from Topcon Positioning. Thank you for being here today. Um, Peter, what uh, technologies exist to prevent uh, the breakdown of existing infrastructures? Well, since many years, uh, a lot of different technologies have been available in the market already, like um, specialist companies used uh, laser scanning or UAVs or enhanced monitoring technologies to assess, inspect and monitor structures. For us, it's important to point out that we now try to marry these different uh, technologies to a consistent workflow in order to uh, have an efficient and uh, proper workflow in place, uh, which we call inspect, assess, monitor. Diane, what uh, can be done to improve uh, inspection processes? So the inspection uh, is um, the having findings of your default in your infrastructure that can uh, um, pose risks in the future. Uh, the problem is that traditional methods uh, are often costly and uh, dangerous. Uh, but we now have the technology at Topcon with the Topcon Intel Falcon Ed Plus, which is a drone uh, to acquire uh, imaging, very accurate imaging, um, both RGB and thermal of uh, those defects. We also have um, the software solution that helps us create the 3D models and um, create inspection reports in, a, in, in software called Magnet Inspect of those findings to give to the guys on site to do the proper maintenance. What um, we are uh, lacking in those development is the ability to monitor throughout the time those findings to take the better decision uh, for the infrastructure and their health. How could monitoring uh, be enhanced? Well, uh, as I mentioned before, we have different technologies available in the market and uh, monitoring companies use manual and automatic technologies to collect data. What we now try to introduce as part of this workflow is uh, our Delta solution, which is a real-time automatic uh, monitoring system that integrates total station and uh, a control unit to, the, to control and measure const content constantly uh, possible movement of bridges and that we get then a reliable result of the structural integrity of the bridge, for example, or dam, and uh, that we can use this data also to set or to check uh, these movements against trigger levels just to be able to, uh, yeah, to mitigate the risk for the, for the users of the, of the infrastructure. Why is it uh, so important to make these changes? We know that uh, in Europe we have a problem with our infrastructure aging, bridges for example, and uh, we need to be able to take the proper decision. Uh, what do we maintain and repair now? What can be delayed? And it's important for safety, accuracy uh, of our infrastructure and citizens. What is being done to uh, address and correct structural issues uh, that are detected? Well, if you look at uh, Germany, uh, there's uh, from a um, from legal point of view, we have to do every three years and every six years inspection of bridges, for example. Yeah, But uh, what we need to do and what we need to address is that... Uh, that we use these existing budgets that we have to renew or improve our infrastructure properly and efficient. Yeah. And uh, if you look at Germany, more than 30% of all bridges are in a bad condition. And uh, we just did, or the government just announced a program that they will invest in the future 1.3 billion per year in uh, renewing bridges and uh, aging infrastructure. But with our help, we can uh, make it possible that infrastructure can be long in operation and this available money can be used just to really go to the to the uh, critical structures and i think this would yeah give us a better better let's say how we use the money that is available yeah so what are the uh, potential consequences of failing infrastructure well if we if we look at at the situation out there uh if a uh, bridge collapses, as we have seen more than a year ago at the Morandi Bridge in Genoa, that also calls, causes more than 40 lives. Yeah? It is important to, as, 
inspect properly, have this workflow in place, have the proper technology, use it efficient, and monitor structure that is in risk. Because it is not only about losing the infrastructure, having, of course, uh, yeah, the costs that are associated to replace it, but in the end, it's also about human life, the people who use the infrastructure, and they can. we should not take that to risk and use what is available in the market. Diane and uh, Peter, thanks for joining us. <laughs>